Welcome to this tutorial to make a pumpkin centerpiece floral arrangement. Start by cutting out the pumpkin top and go ahead and begin scooping the pumpkin seeds out. You can go ahead and save those pumpkin seeds to toast for later. A mason jar is the perfect size to sit inside the pumpkin and you don't want the vase to be too wide or then it's hard to keep the flowers stable and upright. Go ahead and collect pieces of foraged flowers or greenery or something like this, a funky little dried piece to add to your arrangement. And then I started by pulling out some larger blooms that I bought from a grocery store that had local flowers. And so it was easy to buy one bouquet, then select the flowers from that bouquet to use in the arrangement. So I had some small sunflowers, some dahlias, and a few extra pieces of greenery from that arrangement. Go ahead and start with your greenery pieces. I collected these ferns from the front of my yard and sometimes working with ferns work well but sometimes they curl up really fast so be careful with what you decide to clip. And I wanted to use these greenery pieces first to help me cover up the mason jar and also there was a big gap between the mason jar and the edge of the pumpkin. So um, using the fluffiness and how much space the ferns took up helped me to do that. And then I went on to move with the, the fluffy wildflowers that I found in my front yard as well and was using them for the same purpose to help me cover up the uh, mason jar. So I wanted to have a good foundation and base before putting in my larger flowers of the dahlias and the sunflowers. I also had these really beautiful hydrangeas in my front yard that my great grandmother planted when she first had this house. And in the fall, they turned this beautiful deep pink slash purple. And I also used those to place low to the base of the arrangement and also to add some volume to the whole whole thing and then the sunflower I decided to put right in the middle to help me stabilize the stems within the mason jar you'll see how they wiggle around when you're working with the flowers and then also help me to see uh, how high I wanted the arrangement to go so when you're placing these flowers just keep in mind that it should stay balanced in all sides of the arrangement. So I like to do the fours, north, south, east, west style. And that's what I did with these hydrangea. So you can go ahead and place those larger flowers. I decided to place them at different levels and different places around the arrangement. Um, this dahlia, the white one, I recognized it was starting to be at the end of its life, so it was heavy and droopy a bit. I cut it really short and placed it very close to the base of the, um, the mason jar, and that helped because it was a very heavy um, and large flower. So then I continued with the sunflowers, and don't be afraid to cut them really high and low and um, scatter them around the entire arrangement. With the lighter, more bouncy pieces, you can place them above the, the sunflower level so that it adds some more whimsicalness and lightness at the top of the arrangement. And then I also added a few pieces here and there that was left from my um, base of flowers. So this is just me adjusting and checking the balance of the arrangement on each side and adding a few last 
yapıyoruz. for watching feel free to add any comments with questions or suggestions on how to make your own did you play with pumpkins at school yeah was it fun i played with pumpkins at school oh that's fun